Hello everyone, this will be a comparison between Red Giant's new software, Pluralize 4, it's a software used for audio syncing, versus the Adobe Premiere's 2015 native app to audio sync. I've been using that for several years now to sync videos and I haven't had any problems. I went out and tried Pluralize. 4.0 downloaded the trial version of that and gave that a shot and wanted to compare the two um, you will see I'm going to take one file and do a comparison I had a really difficult file on a recent video shoot see that bump right there that video was quite noisy and obviously we need to replace the audio in that video with the professional sound that we had done in studio and I'm going to use Adobe Premiere 2015 to accomplish this the audio is quite windy it's quite noisy and messy so any audio syncing to that video is going to be difficult however we're going to give Adobe Premiere a try and we're also going to give Pluralize a try so here's the test to see which one of those are able to sync this video to the professional production sound that we recorded in studio. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start this process here. Go ahead, I'm going to click on the high quality audio. Then I'm going to go ahead and control click on the, the video with the audio I want to replace. I'm going to go ahead and right click and bring up the contextual menu and then I'm going to click on merge clips I'm going to wait a minute and let the, there we go, let the screen software catch up to me then I'm just going to merge clips with audio and hit the OK key, keep the default settings let this go ahead real time people, I'm not going to speed anything up we're going to do this real time, boom, there you go, right there that's the merge clips Adobe Premiere Pro was able to get into that file and sync it with the high quality studio file even though it had a lot of wind noise, a lot of voice noise, a lot of external noise, it was able to do it. So uh, let's take a, sa a sample and see what that clip sounds like now. That was much better than the in-camera sound. In case you forgot what the in-camera sound sound like, this is what the in-camera sound sound like. See that bump right there. Okay, now we're going to try to sync these two files with the all-new Red Giant software, Pluralize 4. We got the uh, Pluralize app open up. All this is real time. It's happening now. I'm not speeding up anything. Let's see if it's going to be able to do it. And no. Whenever you see this magenta color in Pluralize, that signifies that they weren't able to sync the two. Um, maybe it's too much noise, various other reasons. Um, and this test was not just done now. I've done this test um, numerous times over the last two weeks with videos. And I find that Pluralize 4 consistently underperforms in my syncing videos over Adobe. So I will be sticking with Adobe for my audio video syncing needs. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.